It has been a roller coaster of news coming out of OpenAI lately. Just a couple of weeks ago, OpenAI quietly rolled out ChatGPT Professional to a select number of users. Now, as of February 1st, 2023, OpenAI is announcing a new service called ChatGPT Plus. What is going on here? So in this video, we're going to cover everything regarding ChatGPT Plus. We're gonna look at how much it cost, how is it different from ChatGPT Professional? Does Professional even exist anymore? What it means for the free plan? And what are the future goals of OpenAI regarding ChatGPT? All right, let's get started. So the first thing is, what on earth is ChatGPT Plus? Well, about a week ago, we did a video introducing ChatGPT Professional. The Professional plan was $42 a month and it included things like always available with no blackout windows, fast responses from ChatGPT, and as many messages as you need. Now, the difference between that and the Plus plan is basically non-existent. Essentially, what OpenAI has done is just rebrand it to Plus and lower the price. Now, what price might that be? Well, according to OpenAI, ChatGPT Plus is $20 per month. Now, for $20 a month, that is a far cry from the $42 a month that ChatGPT Professional was offering just a couple of weeks ago. Now, to be fair, they did not officially announce ChatGPT Professional, okay? This was something that they kind of quietly rolled out. They wanted to kind of test the waters, see what people were willing to pay. You know, just give it out to a select amount of people. But they have totally reverse gears here. So where can we find information about ChatGPT Plus? OpenAI has updated their frequently asked questions with two articles, one about ChatGPT Plus and the other about how to get ChatGPT Plus access. Now, the first article regarding ChatGPT Plus access is basically telling you that they are rolling this out slowly. And if you want to get access to the premium version, you should sign up for their waitlist. They're going to be rolling it out and delivering it to people that have signed up. So that is the very first thing. The second article is the meat and potatoes here. This is the complete frequently asked questions all about ChatGPT Plus. What's included? What is it? everything you want to know about it. This is going to be the article that you want to reference. And this is going to be the article that we're going to be looking at mostly today. So all your questions that you want to know about ChatGPT Plus, we're going to go over them right here. Did I forget to mention that OpenAI also did an official blog post about ChatGPT Plus? Huh? Well, there's that too. Now, if you're enjoying this video so far, please make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be doing a lot more content like this. We're gonna be breaking news as soon as it happens. So make sure to turn on notifications so that you get notified when we release a new video. So what exactly does ChatGPT Plus mean for the free plan? Well, according to OpenAI, the free plan is still going to be offered. They're not getting rid of that. So if you're not wanting to pay the $20 per month for ChatGPT Plus, well, you don't have to. You can still use the free plan and it will still hopefully work. <laughs> it will hopefully work for you. Now, OpenAI states on its frequently asked questions about ChatGPT Plus that by offering this subscription pricing, we will be able to support free access availability to as many people as possible. Now, this is totally true. However, as a business, I mean, I have to say, as a business, it makes a lot of sense to keep the free version just running decent. Because the whole thing is, you're trying to get them to upgrade to ChatGPT+. And the whole point of ChatGPT+, is to have 99.99% .99 uptime. You know, to have where you don't have to worry about it going down, where it's super fast, where like you're actually paying that $20 to get an improvement. So I don't expect any income from the plus plan to really transfer over to seeing the free plan improve that much. Now, with that being said, the future is uncertain and OpenAI has clearly stated that this is a pilot program. 
we don't really know how things are gonna go because Microsoft just invested billions of dollars. Like they have money. How are they gonna use that? What are their priorities? That's something to be seen in the future. Now let's talk a little bit about availability here. Who can get access to OpenAI's ChatGPT Plus? Well, according to OpenAI, ChatGPT Plus is gonna be rolled out to everyone starting with the United States first. So unfortunately, out of the gate, this is not gonna be something that the entire world can use the way they can now. Starting out, the United States is gonna be the first place to get access. Once that's done, they're gonna slowly roll it out to other countries. Now, the thing about it is, in order to be eligible to get ChatGPT Plus, you're gonna need to fill out their waitlist form. The way that they're doing this is that it's not gonna just be available for anyone in the US that logs into ChatGPT. You're gonna need to fill out that waitlist form and they will reach out to you as soon as availability is open for you. If you log out and log back into ChatGPT, keep an eye on your sidebar towards the bottom. You might see that upgrade option. Check your emails, fill out that waitlist form. You're good to go. OpenAI is very specific in saying that ChatGPT Plus is a pilot subscription plan. So this means that it is subject to change. This price might not stay the same. The offering might not stay the same. It might even be renamed. Last week it was called ChatGPT Professional for $42 a month. I'm guessing people weren't really thrilled about how much it cost. Now for me personally, I have no problem paying $42 a month because the value that ChatGPT gives me in my business is way more than $42. So even if it was $100, if you're using OpenAI's ChatGPT to make money, then as long as it's making you over what you're paying for it, you're technically still profitable. In this case though, $20, like we need to put ChatGPT in the hands of the average user. And the problem here is that usually now with the influx of people bombarding the service, a lot of people aren't able to use ChatGPT because everyone's trying to use it. There's gonna be constant downtime. You're gonna get that error message that we've reached capacity right now, and it's just not usable the way it used to be. You know, like the platform itself is still good, but it's not the way it was in the early days. So the question remains, should you actually upgrade to ChatGPT Plus? For me personally, I didn't think it was really worth upgrading until it stopped working the way I needed it to. Previously, it would have downtime. It would say, yeah, you've reached capacity. But in the last week, I have barely been able to use the service just because so much downtime. And then when it did somewhat work, it would time out. It would just not do what I needed it to do. So for $20, that's much better than the previous price that they had it at before when they had the on the download version called chat GPT professional. So I would say if you feel like you need it, upgrade. If you need to have 99.99% uptime and chat GPT needs to be available to you at a moment's notice, upgrade. If you're using it in your business, upgrade. Like the more the media talks about ChatGPT, the more people are gonna be using it, the more people that are gonna hop on, and the more downtime that everyone is going to get. So in terms of just like being able to use the service without any interruption, definitely upgrade to ChatGPT Plus because that is gonna give you what you need to get your job done. Or even if you're just an enthusiast that wants to use it without experiencing downtime, go for it. $20 a month. I think that's acceptable. You should upgrade. I'm going to upgrade. I'm just finally happy that now we have an option and it's not just, oh man, chat GPT is down again. So from the looks of things, OpenAI has totally disavowed and will not acknowledge that chat GPT professional was ever a thing. Basically last week, if you checked on here, they would have a couple of articles or like, it was like one or two articles saying, Chat GPT professional, sorry, if you want access, you'll just have to wait. That is totally gone. If you look now, it's just Chat GPT plus, Chat GPT plus access. So does it exist anymore? 
really, there are no differences between ChatGPT Professional and ChatGPT Plus. They just renamed it. They rebranded it. And it's the same thing now. You just have a Plus account for $20 less. Well, actually, more like $22 less. So overall, I think they, they got good feedback. They got feedback from everyone who were saying like, yeah, man, it's kind of expensive. Cut the price in half, make it more affordable for the average user. That is what OpenAI has done here. So what are the plans for the future? What does OpenAI and ChatGPT have in store for us? Well, they have a section in their blog all about this. They say that they plan to refine and expand the offering based upon everybody's feedback. So they're gonna be launching the ChatGPT API. They're also gonna be exploring other lower cost plans, business plans, and data packs for more availability. Now, what this essentially means is that ChatGPT Plus was basically a solution, it's a band-aid, because OpenAI needed to make some money from ChatGPT. At the same time, it solves the problem of everyone bombarding the system and no one really being able to use it. This is a temporary solution. The reason for this is you can see from what they say, they're looking for more lower cost plans, business plans, enterprise. Like the only safe thing to say is that things are gonna change and don't get comfortable. But you know what, when they do, make sure you subscribe to this channel because we're gonna be bringing you all the updates and everything regarding ChatGPT and how to use it in order to build an income.